Hey everybody, my name is Salem Sunny and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose, and understand that you're on God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today, I wanna to talk to my African queens, man, my African women who are business owners. Those of you guys who are trying, you have a side hustle, or you wanna start something, you're an entrepreneur by heart, you wanna do something and make a difference, man. To all my African queens, man, I wanna to talk to you guys, I wanna encourage you guys, and maybe give you a few tips that can help you as you're trying to start your own business or you're having your business Business and you want to grow your business but I love you guys All right here's one of the first thing I want to tell you right so if you're, you're thinking about starting a business you thought about it you talked to some of your girlfriends about it you talked to some of your, 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 your some of the your advisors even some of your spouse about this here's my advice to you get started jump all in begin see there's one quote that I love a lot that says that a hundred percent of the shot that you don't take you will never make a hundred percent of the shot you don't take, it would never make, right? So when it comes to business, you gotta gotta start. You got you gotta try. You you can't just overthink everything and analyze for years and years. Some of you guys have been you'd had this great idea. You've been thinking about it for so long, and once in a while you walk into a store and you're like, oh my god, that's something I thought about doing myself, right? Somebody had the courage to actually begin. So that's the same thing I'm gonna tell you. Have the courage. Come on, queen, you got this. Have the courage to start and start your business. So to all of you guys out there who've been thinking, you weren't sure if you can, I'm giving you the courage. Go ahead and start. Many of the other things that you're worrying about, trust me, you'll just figure it out as you're moving along. Another thing that I want to encourage you on is take yourself seriously. Here's one thing about business, right? No one will take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously. How do you conduct yourself? How do you present yourself? All that plays into how uh, when you want to do some business with other partners or other people, when you enter the market, when you're trying to bring your product or your services, or whatever you're doing, how is your clientele, how is your market, how is your audience uh, going to clearly understand that you're serious about this business or you're not just somebody who's trying something or somebody give you money or you're doing this for your husband or for your, your, your parent or for your, whatever the case may be, right? Take yourself seriously. The moment you start taking yourself seriously, the market will also react the same way to start taking yourself seriously as well. Presentation is key. Here's the thing, right? I love all of you guys queens out there, but understand who you are and understand what type of image you want to present of yourself and your business, right? So understand, once you understand like how that plays the role into how you want to market your brand, for example, you understand, okay, if you're going to be marketing yourself as somebody who's fun or jolly or somebody who's serious, that depends on also what your product or the service you're providing. Like, for example, if you're going to do something in law, like going to be a lawyer or something, um, or you're, for example, an accountant or you're doing banking or whatever a case for a product that is more serious, like as a client, I don't want to see my banker or my lawyer super bubbly, super happy with bright colors, right? Like that's gonna be kind of a turn off. Like it's gonna be like, whoa, okay, calm down, right? But for example, if you're doing a business that deals with like uh, a lot of joy, a lot of kids, a lot of bright colors and millennials, like you probably don't wanna be like some stiff necked, you know, with a, a business suit all the time, right? That's gonna send also the wrong message. So understanding who your audience is, study your market, right, is very important. I guess that falls into number three, right? Study your market. Here's about studying your market. Understand who your audience is. Who are you selling your product to? You wanna have maybe an online boutique or a physical boutique, right? Do you wanna sell, you know, different goods or you wanna sell like food goods? Like, uh, you know, whether it might be providing food or you wanna be doing processing of different food. Understand who your audience, your intended audience is. And often enough, your intended audience might be different than what you think, right? So really taking time to study, okay, who is actually gonna be buying this? Like for example, if you're selling uh, uh, baby items, you know, whether it might be toys or things like that, understand that the person buying it aren't babies, right? So the person buying it will be the mothers or the parent uh, in that case. So understanding who is your intended audience and how you're gonna be marketing to them. 
Very, very important. Um, another thing is understand your competition. You're about to jump into the game. Listen, honey, you're not going to be the only one trying to do what you're trying to do. You know, either, even if you're an early adopter of a certain concept or in a certain area, understand that there's going to be other people who also have the same drive as you, right? Or have the same idea or are coming in or already have been doing this and you're coming into, so understand your competition, study your competition, right? Look at what they're doing. How did they marketing? Why they're pricing their stuff that way, right? Can you price yours a little bit higher? Can the market take that, right? Can you price it, undercut them and still be profitable, you know, but maybe you're providing a better service or something like that, right? So understand all these different things is very, very important. Another thing about studying your market is understanding scalability. I like to talk about this quite often, right? Scalability is, when you're starting small, for example, by yourself, in your home, you know, you, you make, maybe you're in fashion, right? You're, you're doing the clothes yourself, right? You're designing some beautiful African thing. I mean, you guys are doing some beautiful things, right? You're doing something yourself. Can you grow this beyond just you or maybe somebody else, right? Can you grow this to an industrial level? Right? What would that take? Like managers, would that, would that, how, how would you be managing? How would you control, for example, quality control? How would you make sure that as you're growing, the quality remains the same so that your price point remains the same, so that your customers still remain happy, so that your brand image still remains at a high level as it is? Right, so think about all that. Scalability is really what the money is, right? You trying to make that bread too, honey? I know you were trying to, so understand scalability is super important. Um, and the last point that I really wanna help you with this, right? So we talked about understanding, you gotta jump all in. You gotta get started. You gotta take the courage to do so, right? And the second thing I talk about, take yourself seriously. The moment you're confident about who you are, the confident who you are as a woman, you take yourself seriously, the market will respond the same. People will start taking you seriously as well in business. Another thing is presentation is key, right? How you present yourself, how you brand yourself will also be able to determine your business, how you brand your business. Sometimes you may not be the image of your business, right? So sometimes somebody or some things or other people could be the image you're presenting of your business. So how are you branding those people or those individuals, those services is very, very important. I talk about starting, studying your market, understand what the market wants, your competition, the timing, the scalability. And lastly, I want to give you an advice that was given to me by Bilikis Abiola. Uh, she was actually featured on CNN Africa as one of the young uprising uh, African business uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, she created a business called We Cyclers in Nigeria. And one of the things the advice she gave me, and I want to share this with you as well, is understand uh, delay gratification. Right? Don't expect to become uh, to be recognized for the work you're doing overnight. Often enough, you know, we try something, we go to market with it, and then you know maybe the recognition doesn't come right away, and we get discouraged. You know, we're like, "Whoa, my God! Like we've been doing this for like two months, man. Why am I not on like you know Ebony magazine or Essence magazine? Like why am I not featured on some of those top African magazine for the work I'm doing? Like you make maybe you might be making some fashions, or you know maybe the the the, the market is not responding as you wish it would. Be patient." Right, some things take time, and to grow a great reputation also takes time. You know, the quality, maintaining consistent in your action, the quality. I talk about consistency a lot. Remaining consistent in the actions that you're doing will help you long term. So I hope this was really helpful to you as well. Uh, understand, right, delay gratification. That if you stay consistent with the right action, eventually your time will come, and people will be speaking about how great your product or service is. I hope this was helpful for you. If you out there, if you know another uh, African businesswoman who, who who maybe have a desire to start her own business, she's entrepreneurial minded. Share this video with them. Remember, you are God's very best. I love you guys. If you're new to the channel, again consider subscribing and thumbs up this video if it really helped you. It really helps me if you do. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay blessed. Love you guys. See you.